All right, and we're live. Welcome, everybody, to Draconis Memorial Veterans Tournament. This is day one. We've got a special guest with us today. Just to answer a few questions, we've got Drew. He is uh, my.com senior community manager for all the games. So we've got a few questions we're going to ask him, and he's going to answer them for us, and then we're going to go play a match while we wait for the custom games to begin. So here we go. Um, Drew, welcome. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good, man. So uh, let's jump into this because I'm not sure what your schedule is. So we've got questions from myself, Gorlin's Army, Sir Havoc, and Spishak. Sure, I'd be happy to answer. Sweet. All right. Question number one. When could we expect more options for spectators, such as first-person spectator, hit-and-miss pop-up numbers, etc., to let viewers get more detailed information on the fly about shots, hits, misses, and ricochets, etc.? So in terms of adding more uh, details for that for spectators, that's not really on the plan right now. I mean, the focus for the for the development team right now is um, mainly on implementing the new game mode that's pretty close to completion, uh, bug fixing, optimizations, and I include um, the class balancing, the high tier class balancing as part of that optimization um, <clears throat> over the next few updates. So any sort of updates based on um, spectators and custom match is going to come, you know, sometime after that. Perfect. Sounds good. So the, you kind of answered the second one. Um, it's another one regarding Observer. Basically, it, it would be nice to have different graphic settings for Observer and for play mode. Um, as a caster for the tournament, I want the game to look good and I can suffer around 30 to 40 frames. But when I'm playing the game, I want everything minimized for maximum frames. Uh, is there any chance of anything like that? Uh, no, that's not something that we're working on right now, actually. I mean, um, the, the thing is, though, is that functionality sort of already exists. So, like, if you're about to cast, then you can go to your settings and, and, change the, uh, and change the resolution and the graphic settings and everything, and then go to your cast, and then if you want to just be playing or observing, then you can go back and change. So that's kind of there already. So just having kind of the two different profile options is would be a lower priority task and given kind of the state of where everything is with armored warfare you know i think that the community could agree with us that the that the better things the to focus do. should be on where yeah, it is, yeah definitely cool uh gorland's army's first question is when should the higher tiers eight nine ten be considered for competitive play yeah yeah on that i mean there's a lot of work going into the into the class balancing right now like i was just talking about optimization and bug fixing is a big part of what we're uh, what we're focused on right now um and, and with the class balancing being part of optimization you know right now players one through six are in a pretty good state you know the feedback from people we're getting from the community um you know tends to support that message of course there's always stuff that we can continue to optimize there but the big the big parts are kind of seven, eight, nine, and ten, with more emphasis on the eight, nine, and ten, right? So, um, in update fifteen, you saw kind of like a first sneak peek of of the of a huge round of class balance updates. So, what you know, for example, you guys saw the reload uh, reload time going into the rate of fire and other such stuff. But what you guys didn't see was a whole bunch of different changes that we did on our back end that gave us greater control over the gameplay and the gameplay mechanics more than just changing the primary attributes of a tank or, or ammo or or something like that and so when now that we have this greater control over the next few patches so 16 17 and 18 you're going to see a whole lot more balance changes come in um that should really have an effect on uh, on those high tiers i mean it's definitely a priority for us in terms of when um we would consider 8 9 and 10 ready for competitive play like with the community tournaments um i would say 16 you're going to see an improvement but i don't think we're going to be at really really comfortable spot where we're ready to say okay tournaments are open for everything until probably 17. um at least that's how it's shaping up to be now i mean that could change between now and when 16 comes out but but as of today i think that you know 17 or 18 would probably be the sweet spot and where we would open it up to them sounds good all right uh gorland's army second question is uh pretty much along the same lines uh do you want to see the game in pro esports, and if so, how many months out? Yeah, I mean, we definitely want to see Armored Warfare go to pro esports, but the one thing that we don't want it is we don't want to force it. I mean, we've seen a whole, I, I think anybody who follows competitive games, we've seen a lot of 
games go out there and try to throw money at, you know, at the problem and try to make esports happen for the game only to fail, right? And so with Armored Warfare, we want this to happen organically. And what I mean by that is, like, you know, we've got a, a great community that's already doing a whole bunch of tournaments and stuff like that right now. And, and with your guys' help, we're going to be able to make, uh, you know, and your help and your feedback, we're going to be able to make changes to the game that would make it ready for uh, for esports. And, um, so with that being said, it is something that we want to get to, but right now our goal is, is obviously to getting Armored Warfare to a much better state. I mean, uh, bug fixing, optimization, and uh, bringing in a few new features, but also finishing off with some of the features that, are, that have been implemented already. You know, the um, replay system, you know, the daily challenges being the yeah, re replay system, the daily challenges. You know, um, those sort of things are, are really good examples. Um, and so, and then obviously, you're like, we want to get, we have a point, we, have, we know what we need to get to in order to say, you know, we're out of beta and we want to, we want to launch the game. And that's something that we're striving for right now. So, in terms of esports, esports is something we don't see happening until after the game is launched. Um, and, and with that, and we've always said that, you know, we're going to launch as soon as the game is ready. So, I don't have a specific EPA timeline to offer you guys right now, but, you know, we know what we want to do to get into the game and we know where we want the game to be in terms of life balance and bugs and whatnot before we're ready to say that we're launched. Um, and so I can't offer kind of an ETA in months, years or, or whatever, or days, hours uh, right now in terms of when we want esports to happen, but it is definitely something that we want to happen in, um, after launch. Perfect. Sounds good. I think we can all agree that uh, we want it to be ready. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. All right, uh, Sir Havoc's first question, do they intend to adjust the game to make it more suitable to... Okay, well, you already uh, touched on that. Well, I mean... Well, I guess well, I mean, that'd be I different, think, yeah. A few other points that I could probably offer with that one, I mean, we recognize how important tournaments are to the community right now. I mean, we've seen um, a lot of the a lot of the high-level battalions, and, uh, you know, they're, they're here to compete, and there's a whole lot of people that are kind of getting ready to get themselves into the fantasy for training, if you may. And so, I mean, one of the things that we work really closely with the guys that are putting on the training, putting on the game the tournaments, not only the Armored Warfare League's guys, who so like Will and um, our Post Commander and, and, and Will Toronto, but, uh, you know, so a lot of the guys that are on DLT are taking a lot of the feedback that we're getting from, from them. And so in 15, I think it was 15, you saw a whole bunch of updates to the, to the custom at UI and whatnot. Um, and so, I mean, that was kind of the last round of updates we did based on feedback from the tournaments guys. And, um, with the focus being where it is, you know, I've talked about that a lot already in, in, in this, in this uh, um, so I don't want to have to go through it all again, but the focus is where it is. I don't think we're going to see any more sort of updates to the game or to the game UI specifically for competitive play outside of bringing in that competitive game mode, which is fairly close to complete, um, until sometime after 18, just because uh, of what the immediate plan is for the next three major patches. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, let's see, you touched on the adjustments that would be made because basically they're, you guys are taking in the feedback. So to answer Sir Havoc's second question, yeah. <laughs> uh, Spishak's first question, uh, when do they plan to add... Well, oh, go, sorry, go for it. So uh, I was just looking at... So, I mean, you guys sent me the question beforehand, mm -hmm. and I was looking at um, Sir Havoc's second question. So if so, what adjustments do they plan to make? So, um, you know, like we, we made the UI a little bit more conducive to, to executing actual tournaments in, in terms of actually going into the game and doing it. Um, one thing that, that I can give you kind of a sneak peek on right now, and I can't offer too much information right now, and, and I'll probably get in trouble for even uh, just, uh, <laughs> just my capacity for even telling you this, but, um, you know, one of the things that, that the team out in Russia is building right now, they're working on a web API that would allow teams to gather together and go into the queue for a match up against another team through the web. So basically you'd form your team, your opponents would form their team, and you both go into, I guess, you know, pseudo matchmaking, but it would definitely be like team matchmaking. And then uh, from the web, it would launch into the client against another team. And so that's something, you know, we've seen how valuable and how popular these uh, these tournaments and leagues have been within the community, and this is kind of a, a, a web API, sort of a, a mini pseudo feature that would really kind of, that could actually really help, um, you know, streamline tournaments so you don't have to go through such a convoluted process to boot up the game, meet in a custom match, and do that. We just, you know, you just meet on the web, form your team, queue up, go into the match type thing. Um, I probably told you way more than I should have. I mean, I think that's that's basically how I understand the feature to be right now. I I know they're working on it right now, so I don't have any ETA on when it's going to be 
deployed. I know that they're going to deploy it first in in Russia and test it out before they uh, before we port it over to or bring it over to the EU and in a server. So I don't have any timeline. It could be, you know, hopefully it's not too long because I mean it's something that you guys obviously who are hosting and executing on these tournaments could use quite you know. So the sooner the better, but uh, you know it'll come just as soon as it's ready. Perfect. And Jinx, please don't get mad that I that I reveal. <laughs> All right, uh, Spishax, first question. When do they plan to add new maps for tournament play to keep things fresh? Um, right now, there's no specific plans to add, to create uh, maps specifically for tournaments. Um, the maps that they are working on are for future stuff to come. So um, obviously, the new game mode that, that uh, that's coming out is, um, you know, it's, it's been referred to as Lord of War a lot. And that's, like I said, pretty close to completion. I'm not sure what uh, if they're creating any sort of maps for for that. Um, I think you know if Jinx did talk about you know with uh, Josh's AMA that he did on his forums throughout this week. He did talk about the fact that they are working on some more maps, kind of opening them up and and, and whatnot. But uh, you know, right now the maps that are being developed are being developed for future content. Perfect. And then uh, final question from Spishak. When Armored Warfare goes to esports, how do they plan for the uh, three different servers, North American, European, and Russian, to play and fight each other? Yeah, I mean, this was a really interesting question. I mean, um, clearly, it's a difficult thing to achieve given that, you know, NA, EU, and, and Russia are all play on completely different servers and being able to get them to play against each other. Um, you know, technically, that's, you know, that's quite a challenge. I, I'm not a developer, so I don't really know how. Oh, they would go about doing that like is it just a matter of them having to set up like an, a, a fourth server that like you get migrated over to when it's time to go into sports um do we designate one server as kind of the esports server uh if, if you go that route then obviously you're going to have the the side effects that's you know based on your geographic location you could be put at a disadvantage in East, in, which is not great for esports right you don't ever want to have a team inherently be put out of disadvantage because of their geographic location, right? Or like, do we do we keep esports separate? It's specific for them, so there's like a European esports and North American esports or a Russian um, esports. I mean, I, I don't know how you would go about doing that. That's um, you know, I'd really put a lot of thought into what I would, how would I would answer this question. And quite frankly, I I don't know how I'd go about doing that technically. Do it like having one central server, but being able to keep your garage from the other servers is is, is technically very difficult to do, and Mateva is very time consuming and, and tough. But um, uh, so I, I don't know how they would go about doing that. It's an interesting prospect. They would have to be, you know, you, I need someone who's knows the network architecture <laughs> and how servers function on the back end. That's gotcha. Right. All right. Well, thank you for your insight, and that's it for the, the questions. Did you have anything else you wanted to talk about or mention? No, I just wanted to, uh, to just touch base and just, you know say that it's fantastic to see guys from the community step up and continue to do the, these sort of tournaments and, and you guys dedicating your time to cover the tournaments with the streams. I mean, um, you know, Dracon is coming out and putting up just a ridiculous amount of money to be able to sponsor big tournaments like this Memorial Day tournament. It's awesome to see. Um, uh, it, that's just I'm so happy that the tournament that, that we got people in the community like you guys doing this. Um, you know, moreover, guys like Will and, and Post Commander and a lot of the guys out in Europe that are the time out of their, you know, day and away from their families to be able to run and execute these sort of tournaments. Um, I would just say, you know, like everybody who's participating in the tournaments, just remember that these guys are, you know, they're going out their way to set up these tournaments and go and, um, you know, like all all that, you know, my not problem is doing is we're, we're providing some guidance and we're putting up some prizes but the rest of it is on the community and, and, and guys like will and will and post commander and so like huge thanks and shout out to those guys i mean i couldn't ask for more from these guys and, and can't wait to see uh you know we with this new competitive game mode coming out can't wait to see what you guys can come up with the tournament, tournament structure i know i've already reached out to post commander and, and, and will about getting them in some uh, some early some early tests of the mode and getting their thoughts on how we can structure some tournaments going forward and, um, you know, there's a lot more to come for, uh, for tournaments. That is awesome. And I guess, I mean, really the other thing, yeah, I mean, the other thing that I want, really wanted to talk about too is, um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, I wanted to make sure the community knows that we hear them loud and clear. 
You know, like uh, we may may not be able to respond to every single post on the forum or tweet at us or post on Facebook, but um, you know, we do read pretty much everything that everybody says. Like we are well aware of, of your guys' concerns and, and your frustrations, and um, you know, like it's a little bit frustrating for us as community managers right now because we know, like I know what the plans are, and I like I know that the community sees. Uh, the population has a big issue and, and not taking anything away is a huge issue and it's a critical issue that we need to deal with. Um, but, uh, you know, like, it's a frustrating for us because there's a lot of stuff that we can't talk about. And, like, I know what's coming up in future patches and I know what, you know, like, what campaigns we're going to do to try to get much more people in and improve retention in games and stuff like that we can't talk about right now. And so, you know, I'm forced to go on the forums and be like, oh, we've got, you know, there are plans in progress. We do consider this a priority. And, I wish I could tell you guys more, like I really, really do, because you know there's there's definitely big plans in place and there's big stuff coming, and, and we really think it's gonna you know make a huge, huge difference. But uh, I would just you know thank the community for you guys' patience right now, and, and like we understand your guys' frustrations. We wish we could tell you more, but at just at this point we just can't. And so um, just be a huge thanks to the community. That's that's basically what I'm trying. To Hang say. in there. I uh, I, we get that a lot on stream. Is uh, people saying that it's. We get people complaining that it's like, oh, why are they putting out new maps? What they need to focus on is the population. It's like, that's different people. There, <laughs> there's stuff coming. You just gotta have faith. It's it's coming. They're not gonna stop everything <laughs> yeah. they're doing. The janitor is just gonna pitch in to try to recruit people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we really are really truly focused on making this a better game so we can bring more people in. Um, I mean, that's just the bottom line. Is is there's gonna be a big there's gonna be a big push on getting bugs fixes, games optimized, getting the features. You know the new features in and, and other features feature complete and um you know like i i really think that 16 17 18 are going to be good moments for armored warfare the community is going to kind of see you know, like once we get 16 out you guys are really going to see the path that we're, we're that we now put ourselves on and see that there is light at, at the end of the tunnel and, and we're going to get there and, and you know things are going to get better and, and you know just just have some faith <laughs> i guess is the, the best way to say it but uh no i mean just for the guys that are still sticking with us, huge thanks. Awesome. I mean, it's going to get better. Uh, I, we are doing our, everything that we can to do it. So. Gotcha. I got one quick question that should be super easy. Uh, do you know when the winners for the MS Paint contest will be announced? Uh, I thought they'd already been announced. 